Hello everyone, Funshine X here, and this is episode 12 of the Magic Stick, my Feed the Beast uh, Magic Pack Let's Play. And uh, in between episodes, I went through and I went ahead and got uh, the rest of the Golem animation upgrades, and I went and got the Lightning uh, Rod researched, and so I have everything visible, at least, researched. And from what I know, I'm missing the warded stone and doors, uh, which is cool. You can make doors that only you can open. It doesn't do a lot for single player, other than I guess zombies can't get in, in them. Uh, I'm missing a hungry chest. I'm missing the portable hole, and I'm missing the arcane ear. Um, so I think I'm gonna go research those, uh, and then. The other things I know that exist uh, are the, the brain in the jar, and there's uh, some the ability to put crystals, uh, kind of like on the wall, to like or you know placeable crystals to regen the aura. Uh, and to research those last two, I believe I need knowledge fragments, and I get those from trading with villagers, or in chests, um, and I haven't come across any yet, and so I think that. Um, Mistcraft could be useful there because I do have the uh, villager or village symbol uh, on one of these things, and so I'm just gonna like spam villages on a book and see if we get, you know, who, who cares if it's corrupted? We'll get villages, right? Uh, we'll we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna s do some research. I've got two kind of already started, not much, but. This one's got some permutatio. I think this was the warded stone. No, this was the warded stone. With the perito. Um, so I'm not going to spoil the rest of the research here. It's just these last four. They're pretty easy. Uh, research the same way you do all the rest. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and research the hungry chest, portable hole, warded stone doors, and the arcane ear. And then I'll show you what they do if uh, we have the mats to build them. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back and I've done a little bit of research. Um, I got the arcane ear. Um, it detects note blocks and then it can output redstone signal. Uh, the only use that I can think of would be some kind of like a password to door or wall or entry. I don't know where you like had to play a sequence of notes and then you had a bunch of these to detect it. I'll put redstone to open a door. I someone tell me what this is useful for. Other than that, I'm really not sure. Um, but we have it. Uh, it's got some use, I'm sure. Um, the ward stone and the and the warded doors. Um, they have a zombie braid as part of the material because they remember who placed them. Uh, you get a ton of blocks that are just kind of like decorative blocks, but they're highly resistant to explosions, and also um, only the person placed them can break them easily. And the door is the same way, highly resistant, and only the person that placed it can open it. So they're pretty easy to build. And not totally have, you know, don't have a huge use on single player worlds. And then the hungry chest, which is one of my favorite blocks. Um, he's a trapdoor, some arcane wood, and uh, some easy stuff to do. So I think I'm going to make one of these just for fun. So let's see how much arcane wood we have. Not a lot, so let's make some more. And by not a lot, I mean none. But. Okay, trapdoor should be in here. Oops, can't make it in there. <laughs> okay, we need animus. Vacuous Otis. Otis. There's some vacuous. Let's get some more. And animus. There we go. So let's start with the four animus. That's the easiest. Okay, eight vacuous. I'll 
balls would that be? Eight balls. And eight motus. Eight levers. Or eight trapdoors, I mean. I better get some of this junk out of here. And we'll have our hungry chest. Sweet. Now the cool thing about this guy, I think he's very useful for um, the infernal furnace because it spits stuff out on the ground and you can use this guy to catch it. Uh, we're kind of using a different method with that wooden golem to put it into this chest. But um, place him right here. Anything that you put on the top of the chest, he just kind of eats. Doesn't work from the side. He doesn't like pulse. Well, I guess if it lands in the block, you'll eat it. But yeah, pretty cool. Uh, did I pick him up with a wand? I'm not sure I'm on that. No, nope, just regular chop him down. Cool. So, we have one. Um, I'll think of a use for it later. Okay, what next? Next, we want to go into the Miscraft world. So let's make a book. Actually, a linking book, so we'll need a feather. And a book and a book to get back, of course. So we'll stand right here. Take cage five. I was getting more of those uh, dead bushes. <laughs> okay, so this one, rather than randomly taking it, we're going to put it in here and craft it ourselves. So this will be villagers. Villages. I don't know. Village world. Okay, so let's make it just like a. Uh, we're going to do small biomes. We think we need three of these. So how about planes? Desert. Now we get both types of villages. Green swamps. Beach. Let's do swamps. Okay, so we got our three biomes. They're going to be small. Lighting, let's just do uh, standard. The sky, I don't really care, but I need one for each. So the sunset, white, fog, red. And I guess we don't have the other one. The clouds, oh well, it'll give us random clouds. Terrain features, we want villages. Do I put more than one? Mm. Yep, I do. We'll see if that makes it corrupt or not. Uh, flat sounds great. Time, normal. Weather, no weather. And we don't want Skylands. Okay, that's our world. That's our village world. Um, based on the number that it adds, we'll see if we get some uh, corruption. Look at that. Go away. Okay, I will be right back. Well, never mind, you guys can see it generate. Here we go. Okay. What was that? <sighs> Did you just see, like, a jig? What was that? <sighs> I've heard of meteors, but those were huge. Holy crap. I'm not getting any neat negative effects. Lots of animals. Okay, I don't know about this. Let's make a spawn waypoint. Are you kidding me? Oh, 
this is dent. Oh, no. That thing just exploded and put coal and gold everywhere where it landed. I've never seen that big of a meteor. I think we should get out of here. <laughs> okay, I don't like this one. We're gonna try again. Let's get home. No, home, home, home. Is one of those lands on me? I'm a goner. Holy crap. Three villages, probably not so good. Scorched surface. Seems to be all that ad, but I guess since we tripled up villages, we got that one. <laughs> okay. Well, let's put it in here and try again. We'll be right back. Okay, so I uh, renamed that book to Meteor World, and I went ahead and created another Village World book. This has only got just a single villages, and I went with normal weather instead of no weather. I'm not sure if that will help, but uh, yeah, Meteor World. Holy crap, that was scary. All right, we got a book, just making sure. Yes, we do. Here we go. <sighs> Some kind of corruption here. Nausea, it's the worst one. <sighs> Why can't I create a good world? Maybe that would be, I didn't use anything out of the ordinary. I really just want to get to a village. But nausea and flame? Yeah. Not good. And random explosions. Or lightning strikes. I don't know. <laughs> All the sheep are on fire. Alright, let's go back and see what we got. Try and figure out why it's corrupted. Oh goodness, it added double dense ores. <laughs> wow, no wonder it's corrupted. Small, that's what we did. Standard, green, blue, villages. Normal time, normal weather. So it added white fog and two dense ores. I think uh, that's got to be one of, uh, pretty dang close to a record. Uh, world 14 having dense ores. Oh, we didn't learn these. Scorched surface and dense ore. Dense ores are now ours. Nice. Okay. I wonder if you have to pick one of these, or it'll add one randomly. Is there just no standard modifier or no modifier? Who knows? Okay, so rename this one to... Double Dents. I mean, to not find one Dents or World, but <laughs> Double Dents or World. Okay, and looks like we're gonna have to do this again. Be right back. Alright, next one, here we go. Hungry. Lightning. Hey, Enderman. Come here, Enderman. Needs some Ender Pearls. Ouch, ow, 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 ow. Okay. Ender Pearls, sweet. Really? Really? No, book, don't die. Can't lose our book. Oh my goodness, Thominomicron is over there. Pants. 
experience. What else did we get blown away? What's with these gigantic meteors? Weather axe. All right, do we get everything? Well, if we didn't, it's gone now. Pick is it gone? Yeah, okay, I just haven't been using it because it's slick touch. My wand, I got that. Food, it looks like I kept everything. Okay, and I got an ender pearl out of the deal. Mine shafts, black fog, and dense ores again, twice in a row. Are you freaking kidding me? Go buy a lottery ticket, because, uh, that's, yeah. Okay, um, how are we doing? We're still good on time. I'm, I guess I'm just going to keep doing this till I find a good world. Uh, you guys have <laughs> enjoyed the experience so far. Um, I will be back as soon as I get, actually, some villages generated in a normal world. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I think we got a stable world. I've got no effects. I've got, uh, no meteors going off. We might be able to find some villages in this world. Might as well take on this little mini dungeon while I'm here. Where's the entrance? Where my sword? stuff. We'll take it. My presents. Thank you. Um, still haven't used found use for the presents. I don't know if that's what it's for. Rail crafts use cards. I don't know. Okay, so um, let's make our waypoint again. I guess just on top of this thing. Look for a village. World spawning as we speak. I'm not seeing one yet. Oh, that might be in there. Sand village. Here we go. Let's check it out. See if they've got any knowledge fragments for me. I've got a few emeralds at home, but not enough, really. Oh no, it's a zombie invasion. Don't you kill all my villagers, please. That was close. What do you got? Paper for one emerald? Wow. Arrows. Not what I want. I'm looking for a different kind of house here. Wheat for emeralds. Ooh, I could get some good stuff out of that. What are you doing in here? Goodness. You don't belong in there. Um, sorry, villagers. I need the books. Three emerald 
stones and you'll give me shears, huh? <laughs> I think I'll use the two iron. I will take him up on that. Oil patch in there. So. Okay, let's keep looking. This could be a while, so I will come back and show you guys any interesting villages that I find. I'll be back. Alright, this looks promising. It is nice, but it backed fast. Redstone, really? Only? I thought you were the guy that I wanted to talk to. Okay, take a look. I can get my emeralds. Not that many. Two. There's an emerald. Thank you for the redstone. Please learn something better. Level up. Come on. Swirlies. There you go. Enjoy. I'm gonna save your friends. You guys dying. Is he breaking out from the inside? There he is. Get back to my buddy, the good guy. What'd you learn? Nothing? You're supposed to level up. Pretty sure that's the guy I need to talk to, but he did not have anything good for me. You want me to go get fish? Are you serious? Nobody wants to give me emeralds just for free, just for saving them from the zombies. Whoop, one behind me. What do you guys want? Just selling. Hmm. You can see I'm about 2,000 blocks away from spawn. I've been running around for like 20 minutes. Been to like four or five villages. Finally found one that I'm looking for in this style building. And he's got nothing but redstone. It just pisses me off. Why don't you have a baby? You two want to have a baby? I got a lot of stuff. I've been in some of those chests and things. So maybe um maybe that's my better bet is exploring those mini dungeons. Fish. It's a whole fishing village. Why would I trade for bread? I can just steal your wheat. They must understand. Alright, we're getting long, guys, so I don't think we're going to be able to... We'll be able to kill another one. Brains, please. Ooh, nice. Brains. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, even more. Um, so next time, I either need to do uh, Soul Shards mod or Twilight Forest, I think. I think those are the two I want to do next, so maybe we'll roll a dice. <laughs> Go do one of those two, or maybe both. But this has been a productive age. It's a very nice age. It's got a lot of what I need, like cows and chickens all over the place. If I ever need great wood trees, they're in abundance here. So it's not it's not a total loss. Which really 
use that village actually. Um, so anyway, this has been Fun Gen X. I will see you guys next time.